Hey, good morning, Randy. It's Jesse over at Vernon Hyundai here. Just wanted to send you that quick little video on our 2017 Toyota Highlander LE all-wheel drive. Great choice in vehicle, by the way. I actually used to work for Toyota for a few years, and even though my heart's over at Hyundai, I do still really, really enjoy the Toyota product. Now, a couple things. Again, just wanted to send you a quick video so you can kind of see the condition. I know pictures are one thing, but always seeing it uh, in a video gives it a little bit better indication of the actual condition. No major scratches, dents, dings. I didn't notice anything like that here, Randy. It does have a good set of winter tires on here. They're a general Arctic grabber. It does have the snowflake on them. Looks like there's lots of life left. Come around to the back. One of the things you're probably aware of, but I really, really love on the Toyota, is the ability to open the glass. So most just open that tailgate. This does have an automatic tailgate, but it is nice to be able to open that glass, as I said. These are six and seven seats. Does come with the privacy screen as well as the carpeted floor mats. So this one does have the Toyota winter rubber floor mats in it. Kind of open this for you. Press the little button there. Opens on up. Bunch of cup holders over on this side. You get the little stock tie downs in the corners, which is nice. A little light in case you're trying to do something in the dark here. A little touch of a button brings this tailgate back down for us. Now again, just check out this side of the car. Keep in mind this will be fully detailed when you come to pick it up, Randy. I just grabbed it off the lot and there was a car in the wash bay or else I would have given it a quick little bath, but I think even as it sits, the condition still shows pretty good. Alrighty, now I'll show you a couple highlights on the inside here, Randy. Again, here are the Toyota weather mats. Get a power driver's seat. Power windows, locks, mirrors, of course. Now, 73,288 kilometers as it sits. Do get the dual zone climate control, of course. You also get the rear climate control. So you can independently control the temperature of the rear. I think this is an awesome little feature in case you got anyone in those six and seven seats. Of course, you get the backup camera. This is always a nice feature to have. And show you a little bit of the dash. There are your USB connections. You get a 12 volt connector as well as long as two charging USBs. Traction control on the far left corner. Snow mode. So hitting this brings up the snow mode. This is basically a heightened all wheel drive setting. So really, really good when, of course, winter time. You also get the downhill brake control. So this is a button, you press that. Shows that little green symbol in the far left corner here. Now that is gonna hold the vehicle at eight kilometers per hour when coming down a very steep incline. So really, really good if you had a steep driveway, snow on that driveway, and if you're hitting the brakes and worried about putting yourself into the ditch, that downhill brake control is really gonna hold the vehicle back and hopefully prevent you from having to use the brakes too much. And then the locking all wheel drive system. So engage that button. You'll notice this little symbol right here within your tack. Now, 50-50 split of the power of the all-wheel drive. So 50% power to the front of the vehicle, 50% of that power is now to the rear tires. This is your most capable all-wheel drive setting. This is kind of neat too. So this is a little pass-through. You remove this little tab. So when you plug your phone in through the USB, you can actually run the cords up through this guy and then set your phone in here. So you don't have to have all the cords wrapped around all of the gear shifter kind of in your way uh, when you're putting your drinks in here. And another little cool feature, you can remove that little middle piece. So this is to secure your cups, but it's nice in case you had a cup with a handle, you can actually still fit it in your cup holders. You get the heated seats on the front as well, both driver and passenger side. 
Now open this up for you. Pardon me. So another little storage bin, that little top shelf. This is removable, of course. You can slide it. There's another little 12 volt connector in there in case you want to run another charger. You also have the lane keeping assist and then the smart cruise control. So this is setting that distance between you and the car in front of you when you're in the cruise setting. So I always use the analogy, you're doing 100 kilometers an hour, a guy cuts in front of you doing 80, this vehicle will now slow down to maintain it, that gap, which you preset. So all the automatic braking settings are there. Also has the automatic headlights. So you engage this, put the high beams on, and then that little auto setting comes up. So now when you approach a vehicle, the headlights or your high beams will actually turn off. The moment that vehicle gets uh, far enough behind you, your high beams automatically turn back on. You also have the auto stop and go. This is gonna kill the engine at an idle. Again, you can turn it off or on. And then the next button here, this is to open up the rear hatch. Also has a windshield wiper de-icer or heated wiper blades. So your windshield wiper blades actually sit on a little strip, just like your back window defrost has and this will actually warm up the wiper blades great little function to be honest with you and then now home screen you get a bunch of apps in here audio you can check out a bunch of eco settings in here the average speed the fuel economy range the elapsed time of your trip you can check out past records best fuel economy on this vehicle the best drive ever was 8.7 liters per 100 kilometers you can totally clear all this and then re-go from there. You do have full Bluetooth, Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth calling, which is nice. And believe it or not, it even has a CD player, which is pretty rare getting into the 2017, 18 model years. So it's nice to see that that actually has that still. I know I still have a bunch of CDs and I don't wanna go without them. So other than that, everything looks like it's in good shape. Again, no major scratches, dings, dents, rips, nothing to that effect. I'll just show you the dash and the seats here. Now again, keep in mind this will be detailed for you. And let's go check out the back seats real quick here, Randy. As you can see, you can control the climate in the back seats as well. Turn the temperature, put it in the auto setting, where that air comes from. It does have the winter mats all in the back seat as well. Well, armrest here, which comes out. And then the seats all do fold flat of uh, forward as well. Now, all in all, Randy, I think we should be able to come to an agreement on the price here. This is a great unit. Uh, I am the internet manager. I've fielded a few inquiries on this guy, but no one seems as set on it as you do so far, Randy. So I really hope we're able to make this work. If you do have any questions, feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call at 250-275-4004. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it's helpful. And I really hope we're able to put something together for you, Randy. Thanks again. And bye for now.